So, guys, I'm actually here sipping. <laughs> I am here sipping, you know, sipping and sipping. Oh, yes, honey. You guys, I don't know because I'm not used to um, this lavish life. <laughs> Oh my god like i just can't believe okay guys i'm in sweden and i have been invited um they invited social media influencers so i'm one of those people that they did pick which i am super super grateful um although i am the only dark skin person out of everyone so this is gonna be two days we're gonna be in two different cities and we have kind of the schedule uh what we will do and some interviews and stuff like that and i'm super happy because this might give me more exposure so super super happy to all the africans you guys we're rocking you're rocking you beautiful mama check this out yes honey let's do the ticket Um, I drove from Finland uh, to Sweden it was quite a long way because I drove like seven hours from actually it was nine hours from the city where I live to Luluen Lu, Lulea Lulea I think it's called Lulea to this uh, town I did pass the border but the border was like two hours away I mean two, two hours behind yes when I got there, uh, this is the amazing hotel that I was in. Um, I didn't pay for the hotel myself, but the hotel was about, I think, 109 euros uh, a night. Uh, breakfast is in included in the same price. Um, and the checkout time was 12. Yes, it was stunning. As you guys can see like it's beautiful and because of COVID and restrictions there wasn't much people uh, and I got there around 11 in the night so go yes there was it I did wish I would like you know see people but I think people were sleeping although in a breakfast place there wasn't much people because of COVID but i'll explain that but the hotel was amazing so if you um if you are in america or you use dollars mm, that's my pretty face ah oh, honey <laughs> if you're in america it was maybe i would say 120 uh, dollars uh, per night and if you in south africa or other countries if you use rents it was about 1500 rents i think yeah this elevator you have to press the card your room card in order for it to work super safe because you can't reach up if you don't have a card i'm sure they are avoiding people walking in and going in the rooms you know the lift does not move if you don't put your room card like, in a moment i was like wait what so used to africa guys I, when i was downstairs i did ask for a glass of uh, ice and i had a, a apple juice with me they got these flowers on the wall that you did see in the lift that i kind of liked yes and this hotel was in the middle of every beautiful place um there was a museum which i didn't get a chance to visit there was a church the other attractions that were there and they were not far away from the hotel so there we go Ta -da! <laughs> Yeah, this was my room the room looked like that and i was kind of wondering although i didn't ask anybody that the wall the flower on their walls like what that what does the flower mean you know like way why are they having the flower everywhere elevators in the passage uh and then in the wall there and that was my room Already when I got in, I messed things up. No. 
my makeup, my cosmetics, and yeah, but I kind of liked everything. It was good. I didn't like my view though, because when I opened the window, I could see the other buildings. Uh, but too good, too good, too good, too good, too good. And let's come to the mirror, guys. Oh gosh, I just love, 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 love mirrors. My good guys, I love mirrors. Like, okay, I just needed to do the tiki tiki. And the moment I did the tiki tiki, when I watched down, I could see the mirror was telling me, you look great. I was like, honey. Yes, I know. I look amazing. And then I started moving for the mirror. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Come on. Yes. Honey. Yes. Stable, honey, yes, I move, honey, so, 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 Holy Spirit, hi, hey. Holy, hey. Holy Spirit, I move, Holy, tiggy, 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 <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I kind of enjoy it so, today, so I had to go guys, outside, it is so super dark, but, and it's raining, but I, I thought that it doesn't matter, let me just, come and show you in the night how beautiful sweden looks i don't know the name of the town is is lu lu lule lu lule 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 <laughs> i can't even pronounce it correctly but let me just show you around it is super super beautiful we're still gonna see it tomorrow morning and I am not sure what is this, but it's amazing. It's a pity because it's raining. I was gonna walk all over there, but I'm sure tomorrow we're gonna see what is there. Yes, so. Beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Yeah, guys, I did hate that it was raining. Although it's raining. It was raining. Yeah. Not much. Um, Not much, but I actually thought that was um, a mall, that nice building. It was located opposite the hotel. There is the police. I don't know who they stopped. But yeah, I, do, I thought that at first that was a shopping center of some kind. But actually this building, uh, inside they have a library and they also have some shop that promotes the town. Uh, they are selling like the t-shirts and other stuff. We want to get inside to that, uh, to that building tomorrow, like in the morning <laughs> after breakfast. Uh, I wanted to see what was inside and then they have a very nice parking uh, space. You do pay for that parking, but it's super super cheap Unfortunately because I am me. I didn't park the I, I used another park and I got a parking ticket Yes, honey At first I thought I was gonna get away with it since I live in Finland and the tickets I got the tickets in Sweden, but the more I asked about the tickets <laughs> the more they told me that they will send it to my address. They will talk to people to to uh, finish police and they will send it to me. Like, honey, <laughs> so I'm about to pay that bill. Yes, honey. So there was the hotel just right opposite this amazing building. On top of, if you go, like, you walk more up, there is then a shopping center with um, Gina Tricot and they also have H&M. They have... Um, uh because they just they're on top if you go up the street it's super close this, this hotel is, is located everywhere i mean it's located just in the middle of everything that you need don't mind me when i'm hammering the english honey I'm not english not at all not at all honey so this was the morning of the next day yes feeling myself you guys i just love that they have mirrors and then you walk to this beautiful, amazing, big place for breakfast. Because of COVID, you have to take, you have to tell them what time you will go and eat the breakfast. 
you can eat the breakfast from i think 6 30 to 9 30 yeah so i chose 8 30 to 9 30 but i got the uh they were almost closing because Mogel was sleeping and woke up late and then i'm not sure why i fast forwarded this because yeah it looks like it's in a rush but honey it is what it is oh my god it's faster than i made it you know oh holy spirits the food holy oh holy spirits no i'm singing for the food i'm singing for the food honey yeah they were like everything and anything guys can somebody tell me why is this camera moving like this somehow it makes me feel dizzy like super dizzy And then there's still a long way. This place was big, empty because of COVID. People eat and go. No one want to sit and take too long. You know, it was super, super big. Huge, 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 huge place. And I also think that in summer, because it was raining and cold and it's almost the end of summer, that's why there wasn't also like, too much people. But maybe there were people in the morning because Pela Mugel was sleeping. Even now, guys, I'm so sleepy. I even feel like sneezing. <laughs> oh, child. Bless me. Bless me, bless me, bless me. Bless me. Because I'm so annoying, yes? <laughs> i wanted you guys to see all of this place i wanted you to gag honey like just swallow the place swallow the place like i was showing you details here i kind of nearly fell so i even went back and they had to say to me sorry sorry sissy sorry yes and i saw one lady that was working there she was she said she was from nigeria yeah I would say that in Sweden, they have more foreigners than Finland. But when I was there, I didn't see much of uh, people of color, saying myself. You know, I mean, uh, dark-skinned people. I saw very much of, um, of Swedish. I think because it's on the other side of, um, like, small town, other side of the world. That's why maybe, I don't know. But if you go in Stockholm, which is a uh, capital city of Sweden, then you will be you will feel like you are in an international place because honey, Mogel was hungry and Mogel had to eat. Like I had to sit down and Jojo and bim delicious and eat and eat and eat. Yes, I must say the breakfast was nice. Of course, there was so much, so much things. This, you remember guys, last night when I showed you the previous night, how beautiful that looked. It's still the same place that I'm showing you, honey, now. Yes, it's just that now I'm in the airplane. Yes, I, went, I was in the private jet here. No, 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 maybe helicopter. Yes, I was on the helicopter when I took this. Honey, can you see? I was flying in the sky. Can you see? And if you notice that uh, Sweden doesn't have too long buildings like in south africa we have and i've seen america they do have in other uh, countries they have long long buildings um in finland we don't have those long 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 buildings they keep their buildings short same as sweden uh in sweden too they the buildings were uh short here is this building that i thought it was a shopping center but it wasn't instead they had um this uh it's the name of the town with the t-shirt and also uh, if you need a map or you need something you just walk in and in this shop you will get everything like the attractions of um Lulua. i couldn't just come there and not see anything that is around them if and also i want to say to you when you get there and you wish to to visit or the attractions of this town and remember this town is two hours away from the border of finland and sweden so if you go there and you also want to check things out please go to this shop 
or take a map and then you will honey find the attractions you know there was this sweet and amazing um lady uh she was from finland but of course she have lived in sweden she have lived in sweden as kids for a couple of years and she was very nice i, I, I won't take your face don't worry <laughs> so where are we we are over here okay and camera start is over here the church sorry the church is there uh, yeah the church is there we also have one church over here okay so how how far is it from here to there it's about 10 kilometers oh okay so i have to drive so you can go by the bus which is starting from here okay so after she explained and told me what i could go and see you guys this is where uh the drama almost happened you know but <laughs> for now it was okay so i did drive around and looking for the church first and also what was amazing while i was driving which i will show you guys in another video i did see what kind of houses people in sweden have you guys you will die the only issue is that there were police called on me during that moment uh, i'm gonna tell you that another time but look at that yellow building like amazing super amazing you know everything that i was seeing like mokela was gagging unfortunately when i went there the church was closed and this church looks uh, similar to the finnish church i don't remember if it's called cultural church in finland it's similar it's just that this one is a bit small but also this is a famous church uh, in lulua so if you go there in lulua <laughs> if you do go there I don't know if I pronounce it right. You know these things, honey. You know these things. They never want to sit on our tongues. You know, these names. You know, it's a foreigner name to me, honey. So, it was very windy, guys. Super, super windy. Like, very windy. I nearly thought that the wind was going to, like, fly me away. But it did it. I wish I could just flew without hitting. But look at the buildings. The surroundings of church it's a place you want to walk on and it's a place that you, you like you will enjoy everything the atmosphere the surroundings um swedish people don't just smile they are not as not as uh as same as finnish people though i think finnish people they are just a little bit too reserved but um i would say i had mixed emotions they were People who were smiling and you know, kind of like saying hi. There were people who were not smiling at all. So yeah, but I would say they are quite different from Finnish people. Yeah, guys, this is now I was looking for another uh, church which is also famous in Sweden, in Sweden and in this town. And honey, the navigator got me lost, girl. This is the part and the time where my girl is gonna be the police is gonna be called on me yes honey because i got so lost like i just kept on driving and driving uh i didn't know that i was getting lost or the navigator was taking me to another place so i just kept on driving and then i started seeing beautiful houses and i continued driving and then by the time i knew it i opened my eyes police were called i was accused of hey <laughs> on another